Hey guys, so I finally reached Tempe and uh, so I'm crashing at a friend's place for like a couple of days until I get my own accommodation fixed. So first glance of ASU. Uh, this is like I think the main entrance. There are multiple entrances obviously. It's a huge ass campus but yeah I'm entering the campus for the first time. Uh, basically I have to get my student ID card and uh, yeah I think that's the only thing that I uh, that is like the first task that I have to do today. Tomorrow I think there is uh, actually Friday there is an orientation and classes start on Monday so yeah. It's obviously a pretty huge campus I decided to take like I decided not to take the bus and walk instead even with the bus the bus will drop off I think there at the main road and then anyway it's a 10 minutes walk I'm going to MU Memorial Union to pick up my ID card so it was like a 10 minute bus ride and then an 11 minute walk something like that versus a 20 minutes walk it's basically one mile from uh, the apartment that I'm currently living in so I decided to walk so that I can like explore a bit and stuff there's a huge ass field there and this is WP Carey School of Business. This is basically, I think, as far as I know, the school for business analytics and like every other business related courses. So yeah, it's pretty fancy. Okay, I just walked past it. But yeah, this is how it looks. So if anybody's applying for MSB, this is where most of your classes will be. I'm not sure if I will have any classes here because I think the first uh, three subjects that I've taken, none of them are here anyway, and it makes sense because mine will be like CS slash engineering courses. So that's the Memorial Union. I think there is a particular office for ID cards and stuff. So I have to go there and pick it up. Day three at Tempe, Arizona. I just got done with my international welcome event. Basically, it's like an orientation. Uh, but like more general towards all branches. Yesterday I had my virtual uh, Sky, which is School of Computing and Intelligence, I think. Yeah, uh, it's a shame I don't know the full form precisely, but I think it's it's that what I just said. So I had that virtually, uh, which is more towards like the specific uh, courses that I'm taking, specific specialization and whatever, right? So uh, Sky is more towards like computer science, uh, computer engineering, AI, all, all those things, right? And today's thing was more towards like uh, how to maintain your F1 visa and you know what you're expected to, uh, how, how you're supposed to behave in a classroom and uh, academic integrity and all, all those things basically. So it's more general and uh, then we had a lunch. Uh, which we got like a coupon where we can choose from like whatever is available there so there are like a bunch of outlets uh, there subway burger king etc and there's one uh, pitchfork restaurant there which is like an all you can eat type of thing yeah so that was that lunch was pretty four out of ten uh, and then there was this uh, exhibition of like student clubs and all where they were giving out like flyers and pamphlets for uh, you know events what's going on in this month some some of them are like outdoor events uh like group towards international folks so yeah i picked up some flyers and uh not goodies as such but like uh paper clips scissors stuff like that they were all giving those stuff out like goodies out <laughs> And we also had a campus tour before the lunch. I think I am uh, the most fascinated by the gym. It's it's like out of the world. There, like the fitness center in itself, basically, which encompasses the gym. And there is a brilliant swimming pool. Actually, there are three, but like one is just for laps. One is uh, for I think events or sports, and one is like a normal pool. And then there are, I think, uh, four to five gym, like sections of the gym. So one is like easy weights, one is, I think, more like 
for people who bench two plates probably and then uh, then there are like cardio sections then there is like a uh, box kickboxing and stuff so there are like multiple sections so it's a huge uh, fitness center and it's really nice so and it's open till like 10 so i think once i'm all settled in and stuff i'll probably start going to that gym and not to the apartment gyms because they are not that great i mean they're okay if you can't make it uh to the fitness center but i think i mean uh it's worth the whatever 10 15 minute commute uh and 15 minutes commute in the sense that there's a walk and a bus involved if you walk it off the entire thing should be like a 20 minutes walk so i think that's uh doable once a day also i opened my bank account yesterday so i think i'll make a proper video about bank accounts uh like because i explored like three four banks i went to two i went to chase and mid first and uh, but i also saw online about like wells fargo and bank of america so like compare that probably why i chose mid first uh in a proper video but like yeah i got my mid first bank account opened up and i tried depositing uh, some cash through neo global because i've loaded it in inr and that way i can like pay like i do not have to pay any forex marker but uh, but it the transaction failed and uh, since my uh, india number isn't working i didn't get the message so i have to check that or i have to probably get in touch with neo support and see and i also got like my uh primary number like india number recharge so that i can get messages but i couldn't deposit again because i think that's the policy at mid first that you can only deposit once per day so i'll probably have to try again tomorrow uh i need to deposit uh some money in my us bank account so that i can pay like other people rent and yeah every every like day to day transactions uh i can use a forex card and i can also use the bank account so both of them should be fine as long as uh transferring to the bank account doesn't take a lot of like charges so the way to avoid it is like like the way i tried so i'll probably uh do it tomorrow and if it works out then that's probably the best way to transfer money small amount of money though i don't think you can transfer like a huge amount of money i also have to check about that uh, because there is a uh, rbi guideline that i think above a certain amount you have to pay taxes so yeah that's a little confusing and it's still a gray area to me but i'm going to find that out soon